Um, but one of the things that hasn't been really mentioned in Israeli media is the fact that the Israeli government last year signed a memorandum of understanding with the Polish law and justice government. And part of that memorandum of understanding was that Israel recognizes Poland's need to ban expressions relating to Polish death camps. Uh, Israel just signed on to that. They basically signed on to the legislation that their government is condemning. And, you know, why did they do that? Well, Israel has a long history and the Zionist movement has a long history of collaborating with anti-Semites, including Nazi Germany. Well, Israel has a long history and the Zionist movement has a long history of collaborating with anti-Semites, including Nazi Germany. Nazi Germany. Nazi Germany. Uh, to advance its own narrow national interests. In this case, we recently saw Poland abstain from a UN vote condemning Israel uh, over the Trump and condem condemning the Trump administration's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. And Poland recently signed a $14.5 million deal to import uh, Patriot missiles from Israel that are mostly made by Israeli arms manufacturers. Israel's basically looking uh, to Eastern Europe as the future uh, support base for its right, its own Likud right-wing government. And Israel really has no place to condemn Poland or Ukraine or any other country that engages um, in banning uh, certain recognitions of the Holocaust because is Israel's government has authorized its own legislation to forbid its Palestinian citizens from observing their own destruction, specifically the Nakba, which represented the organized campaign of ethnic cleansing from 1947 to 1948 and the ongoing campaign of destruction and dispossession of the Palestinian people. So there's those, those are really shared values between Israel and the Polish government. And those shared values are reflected in the memorandum of understanding.